everyone? This is Jason here. And before we get started on the video we're going to be finally doing for you, I would like to take the time and tell everyone, the people on Facebook, the people on YouTube, people that met me at, at the field, thank you. Without you, I wouldn't be doing what I am doing. So beyond the half of TradeMyGun.com, Risen Paintball, ZephyrPaintball.com, Striker, and of course Jason Wright, the YouTube guy, and even the camera lady, Christina, we all want to say thank you, and we appreciate everything you've done for us, and we will continue to do what we do for you. So, on that note, on our Facebook, we posted a single picture of a paintball marker. We're going to actually finally be talking to you about that gun today. So, without further ado, no, it is not a Glock. No, it is not a 911. It is actually a Zodiac ZR1 Renegade. This is the case your marker comes in. Really heavy duty. This is something you will see at a real gun store. That's all I have to say. So this case is definitely up there with the Lux case, with the Planet Eclipse case. So they did a really good job on that alone. So enough talking about a case. Let's dive on in, shall we? If I can open it. Okay, so now, a couple things. We actually bought a secondary barrel back and a little gripper. So we're going to put this to side because your regular purchase does not come with these. Okay, so first things first, here's a ZR1 Renegade. Now, with the package, you actually do get a big tube of hater sauce. You get a pretty in-depth rebuild kit, and you get a very nice two-piece barrel. It does have a lot of porting, so this barrel is amongst some of the quieter barrels I've dealt with. Very nice finish inside, and with this extra grip right here, or the rubber sleeve, we've all been down that road, your hand's slippery, your hand's covered in dirt, you can't unscrew your barrel. This will actually give you just enough torque, you can somewhat say, to slot to get that right off. With the ZR1 Renegade, you actually get this little rail system. Even though the gun comes stock macroless, you can actually add a regulator and an ASA to turn it into a macro line marker. Just a kind of a cool thing. Thought that was pretty creative. So let's dive on into the marker. We'll put, a, we'll put the case to the side. Now the first thing, when you hold one of these, you're going to notice this is a little bit heavier than your normal paintball markers. But don't worry about that. Once you get the tank, the barrel, the hopper full of paint, the gun does begin to equalize the weight, just like our MacDev Drone GTI. So like we mentioned, it is macroless. Now, you're also going to see there is no on or off on the a ASA. The reason why, this is actually your high pressure regulator. Same thing as an axe, same thing as an alien invasion, so forth, so forth. With this marker, they do recommend a mid-pressure tank. So around 500 to 550 output pressure on your tank. That will allow you to screw on the tank and screw off the tank without having to really torque it down. When you remove your tank, the marker will degas itself. It will basically send all the air right through the ASA, or AKA the HPR, so you don't have to worry about it. The grips on this marker are good. I know a lot of people complain that the grips are plastic, they're not rubber, these are 100% rubber grips. They have great finger milling or finger slots, whatever you prefer to call them, right here in front, which really, your fingers lap will rest beautifully on them. The trigger has very minimum side-to-side -side play. Very minimum. I'm not going to say it doesn't, it doesn't have any. It has some. It's a trigger. Go figure. The trigger actually uses two pivot points, one on each side, with a ball bearing internal to keep the trigger aligned. Now this trigger actually only has three adjustments, the micro, the post, and the pre. Now, 
it is a magnetic return trigger. So right there again, you get another perk. It is not spring assisted, it is magnetic. So it's going to give you a smooth trigger pull and you will be able to shoot this thing pretty damn fast. Up here in front, this is actually just a volumizer. A volumizer. It is not a regulator. We actually will show you. Go ahead and unscrew this completely. There is nothing in there. It just holds air, everybody. That's all it is. Now, this marker does 210 intake with a 70 through 75 PSI bolt return, which will give you very smooth shot and is very soft on paint. We'll just screw this back in so I don't have parts laying all over my table. Okay. <clears throat> now, the board that it comes with is a hater UL board with all the firing modes you can imagine. So we'll go ahead and we'll turn that on. Now, on the back, you have the power button and you have the eyes off. So we'll turn on the power button. On. One quick, one simple push, you're good to go. They actually do have the little hole cut in the grip here so you can see the board. Then, same thing, hit it once, board goes off. So it is one of the smoother on-off markers I've seen in a while. And I know people are going to ask, well, did you ever turn it off accidentally on a game? No, I did not. The reason why, we'll try to get this in the camera, it is actually indented into the grip. So when you're holding it, your palm will never actually come in contact with these buttons. You actually have to push them with a finger, just to let everybody know about that. The bolt on this, even though this marker a lot of people don't know about, it does use something what I think is really cool, say the art, really unique. The back part of this bolt, we'll take it out right now actually, does have a fixed LPR. Now what a fixed LPR is basically going to mean is you don't have to monkey with it. Once it is set, it is set. And of course it is It is a, you need a tool to do this. It's not a toolless remove, but that's okay. Okay, there's that. And I'll go ahead and pop the bolt out too, and we'll talk about both of them. Okay, so we'll kind of put this aside for the, for the point beam. Right here where you can see the Allen screw. This right here is actually your LPR. Now, if you decide to get one of these markers, and I'm pretty sure once you do, you're going to fall in love with it, you actually want to torque that down. Screw it all the way down so the back cap does not begin to remove or unscrew that did happen to us we tightened it back found home position screwed it in beautiful afterwards i was gonna get a side of that real quick now this appears to only be a two-piece bolt system theoretically it is three you have the back the mid and the front this actually unscrews from the bolt assembly. But as you can see, very simple bolt design. It's not too overly high tech, but with having the built-in LPR in the back, it does allow this marker to be a very smooth shooter. The other cool thing is I know a lot of people are constantly concerned about shooting brittle paint. Well, what Zodiac Paintball did, move this out of the way, they actually added a cushion right here at the front of the bolt. So when the ball is going to be moved by the bolt, this right here is on the ball. So there's not a hard surface. There is a soft surface. So as you can see, it is definitely squishy. You can actually feel the Allen going in a little bit and you can actually feel it popping back up. So really Nice design. It's going to make it so you can shoot brittle paint. We shoot uh, Risen Pure is pretty much our paint we love now. And that's stuff really brittle. And it doesn't flamethrower. It actually makes it nice and smooth. I have to like that. With this marker as well, the operating dwell is actually 5 milliseconds. So that is actually really, really low. 
Most guns you see are 12, maybe 26, maybe 13, maybe 14, but five milliseconds, that's all it takes to actually power this marker. So there's the bolt in its entirety, very simple. Now, of course, O-rings, you actually have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is just a spacer. So you have nine O-rings all together on the bolt system. Not a lot, actually. I'm used to, you know, 17, 26, some outrageous amount of O-rings. They kept the bolt on this the gun really simple, really easy to look at, really easy to maintain. So I'll go ahead and put this back together because I don't like leaving little parts all over the place. Now what we're going to do for you is we're actually going to do a side-by-side -side comparison. We have our Geo 3.1 right next to me. And we're going to actually do them side-by-side -side so you can kind of get an idea. We've all seen the Geo 3.1, the Geo 3. They haven't changed too much. So, now I got to do this call me because if I scratch my girlfriend's gun, she'll kill me. Or if I scratch my gun, I'll kill her gun. So overall, yes, the Zodiac is longer and wider. I'm not going to lie about that. But don't forget, all the power for the ZR1 is within the bolt system. Everything relies in the bolt system. So that's one reason why the bolt is longer and the gun itself is longer. But as far as feed necks, let me go ahead and do this as well, just so we can cover all of our bases. The feed necks are pretty much identical as far as height. So it does have a great, oh, excuse me, a great feed neck. It does have the adjusting feed neck, so you can just turn it and it will adjust in for you. And clamp. So really simple. Overall, I really wish more people knew about the ZR1 Renegade. It's a great marker. They do come in some really awesome colors. You can actually get a zombie edition, which is pretty cool because I know everybody loves zombies. But like we were mentioning, I just really wish that they would get more publicity, more information on them. I think that's the main reason why we bought one is to show people, hey, there is other companies that make great paintball markers as well. Besides Planet Eclipse or Die or Dangerous Power. So overall, we, we, we actually play with it on Risen Day at Striker Paintball in Santa Paula, California. Shot great. I loved it. I mean, it sh smooth shooter. Fast, very accurate, even with the stock barrel. And overall, uh, this is going to be another gun we're going to be going to the field with, monkeying around with and shooting people with. So other than that, thank you very much for watching as usual. And again, thank you for thank you for all the support on YouTube, Facebook, and on the field from the paintball community. This is Jason Wright with the ZR1 Renegade made by Zodiac Paintball. Thanks for watching.